Hello everybody, this is Elias5891. Welcome back to some more Contain Tutorial. Uh, this time, per request, we're going to cover the Skewed Slots module. I've got the little notepad up, got the manual page ready. Uh, so here's Skewed Slots. Gonna have three numbers. Ding, ding, ding. Which you can switch. And a submit button. Uh, this one does require quite a bit of edge work, so let's go ahead and get the whole edge work on this bomb to start things off. Uh, we have three batteries and two holders. Uh, port wise, we have one of everything, actually. So, DVI, parallel, serial, RJ. RCA and PS2. And serial number is 4E8AH9. Alright, so the way we go about solving this. Diffuser tells the expert the number. Uh, skewed slots 113. Expert's going to jot down 113. And then we are going to go through. Excuse me, we're going to go through all of the rules. Uh, uh, it, this is an important note. There are two important notes before we do this. One, anytime it references the original digit, it means the digit before it was changed. That is the one, the one, the three in this case. Regardless of what we do to them, those are our original digits. The other thing to notice is a lot of modules, if you go above or below a certain number, you kind of have to cycle back through to where you should be. You do that in this one, but only at the end. So if we get numbers outside of the range 0 to 9, that's fine. We'll just convert them at the last step. So, having said that, we're going to do the all slots rule. Uh, replace any 2 with 5s, don't have any. Any 7s with zeros, don't have any of those either. Uh, for every lit indicator, add 1 to the number. And notice this is for all slots, so for every step, each digit. Uh, add one to the number for every lit, subtract one for every unlit. Uh, we didn't have any indicators, so that doesn't apply at all. And then here we have a bunch of other rise rules. We're going to look at each one in turn and apply the first one that applies to each digit. So first rule, if the number is a multiple of three, that is true for my third digit. So we're going to add four to it. Three plus four gives me seven. No other rule is going to apply to the third digit. That digit's done in this segment. Let's keep looking, because we still need to manipulate the first two. Otherwise, if the number's greater than 7, not true for either of the numbers we have left. Otherwise, if the number's less than 3 and even, uh, not true for either of the numbers we have left. Otherwise, if there is an RCA or PS2 port, uh, there is, there's both actually, skip the rest of this section. So we're done with this section. So we don't actually change these numbers. This stays a 1, this stays a 1, and we change that to a 7. That's kind of your first step of manipulations. Then you have a different box for each of the three digits, which you're going to do after you've applied this to everything. So, to demonstrate, first slot. So we're looking at this first number, 1. Uh, if the number is even and greater than 5, no. If the number is prime, no. Otherwise, if there's parallel port, yes. Multiply it by negative 1. That's just changing the sign, so that's going to become a negative 1. And this is an otherwise rule. Actually, all of these are otherwise rules, so you're just going to apply the first thing in each of these sections. So that one's done. Second slot. Uh, we have a 1 at the moment. If there's an unlit bob, nope. Otherwise, if the number is zero, nope. Otherwise, if the number is in the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, if you don't know the Fibonacci sequence, uh, the skewed slots manual actually does have it listed. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55. I don't think you'll need any higher than that. Uh, so is one part of the Fibonacci sequence? Yes, it is. So the rule is add the next number from the Fibonacci sequence based on the first occurrence of that number. So... Find where 1 is in the Fibonacci sequence. Boop. Add the next Fibonacci number to it. Boop. So that's 1 plus 1, 2. Uh, it does specify the first occurrence to make sure you add a 1 
instead of adding a 2 on this one, just to give you a set answer. So that's the second slot. Third slot, if there's a serial number, yes. Add the largest number from the serial number. Serial number is a 9, or serial number has a 9, that's the largest number. 9 plus 7 is going to give us 16. So our digits are negative 1, 2, 16. Now, for our last step, obviously this slot doesn't go to negative 1 or to 16, so we need to wrap around as necessary. So we're going to either add 10 or subtract 10 to each number to make it work. So negative 1, we need to add 10, that's going to give us a 9. 16, we're going to subtract 10, leaves us with a 6. And that gives us a final number of 9, 2, 6. All correct. Uh, let's do... Actually, let's pull up a different bomb, because edge work is a huge factor in this. So we'll do one more. We'll pick a good one. Boop. Boop. Uh, we will start with edge work again. So we have four batteries and two holders. We have an unlit CLR. Uh, we have two DVI, two RCA, RJ, and PS2 ports. And serial number is LH1DE9. All right, we're just going to do one of these. Uh, let's do this one. One, four, two. All right, so all slots. Replace any two with a five and any seven with a zero. We have a two, so we're going to replace that with a five. One, four, five. Now we keep following the rule. We don't stop from that. We don't stop till we hit the if otherwise section. Uh, for every lit indicator, add one to the number. We don't have any lit. For every unlit, subtract one. We have one unlit, so we subtract one from each number. So that puts us at zero, three, four. And now, first rule that applies. If the number is a multiple of three, zero is a multiple of three, so that we add four to that. 3 is a multiple of 3, so we add 4 to that. 4 is not. Let's keep going. Numbers greater than 7? No. Less than 3 and even? No. RCA or PS2 port? Yes. So this stays a 4. That gets us through the all slots step. So we're going to do the replace. We do the plus minus for the indicators, and then one rule per digit. Make sure you run through this list with each digit. Uh, and then we're going to do the special rules for each digit. Let's start with the first digit. Uh, even greater than 5? No. Prime? No. Parallel port? No. If the original digit to the right is odd. The original digit to the right was a 4. That's not odd. Otherwise, subtract 2. Boop. Subtract 2 from 4, we get 2. Second slot. If there's an unlit bob, no. If the number's zero, no. If the number's in the Fibonacci sequence, one, one, two, three, five, eight, no. If the number is greater than or equal to seven, haha, -ha, it is. Add four. So we add four to seven, get eleven. Third slot. If there's a serial port, no. If the original digit is the same as any other original digit, it was a two, it did not match any others, no. Otherwise, if the number is greater than or equal to five, no, although I do want to look at that rule in a second. Otherwise, add 1. 2, 11, 5. Uh, and we have to do the uh, wraparound, so subtract 10 from 11, we get 1. 2, 1, 5. 2, 1, 5. Doot, doot, doot. Awesome. Uh, now, I did want to briefly look at this rule. If the number is greater than or equal to 5, 
add up all the individual digits in the binary form of the original digit for the new number. That sounds complicated. It's not. Uh, let's say our original number had been... Let's say our original number had been 8. And we've gotten to this step and it's a 6, so we're going to use this rule. So what you, it wants you to do is it wants you to find the binary version of the original number. Find the binary version of 8. Uh, if you know it, great. If you don't, here's your binary conversions of digits on, this, on the appendix for this module. Also has a primes highlighted. Uh, so 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. What it's asking you is to add up all those numbers. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. That gives you 1, so your new number is going to be 1. doesn't even care that we're at a 6 right now, aside from triggering this condition. We're just looking at the original number, 8, finding binary for it, 1, 0, 0, 0, adding those digits up. Likewise, if this original digit had been a 3, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1, so that's going to give us 2. Uh, 7, 0, 1, 1, 1, that would be 3. 9, 1, 0, 0, 1 would be 2. Just how many 1s are there, basically. Uh, that rule tends to give people the most trouble. Remember, that looks at the original digit, not your current digit. And that's pretty much what we've got to look at on this one. Um, the, the module is... <laughs> The difficulty in it is A, making sure you apply the correct set of rules here. Make sure you do the replacement, make sure you do the lit, unlit, addition, subtraction, and then apply one of then apply one of these rules to every digit. Then go through each of the box rules for each digit one at a time. Um, now I did want to show one last thing. Uh, let's look at one more of these uh, skewed slots. Uh, 0, 1, 6, which off to the side I've calculated is 9, 2, 2. So let's say 9, 2, 4. Kind of right, but not quite. Actually, let's put the wrong number there. 9, 3, 2. The answer should be 9, 2, 2 for this one. So let's say I submit that. It's wrong. Notice it just scrambles me new numbers. I don't get the little exclamation points. I just get a new number. If this happens, A, you're going to know pretty quick because you're not going to see an exclamation point. Two, this new number, you have to start at the very beginning of the rules with this as your original three digits now. So the 0, 1, 6 I had before, gone. Pretend it didn't happen. Start over from scratch at 198. So this is a module. It's good not to save it to the end because if you make a mistake, you've got to go through the whole cycle again. Better to get it done a little bit earlier. So if you make an error, you you know you're not just waiting at the end for just this one. Uh, but that's pretty much what I have for this section. Burp. Uh, I mean that's that's huge lots in a nutshell. Um, if anything here is unclear, if you got questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, this has been Elias5891. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, have fun and don't explode.